Hello everybody, my name is Token Forest, and welcome to Minecraft Dungeons. Now, I know a lot of people have been playing games on this, and have kind of been showing off, you know, what levels they are, and how to get the best loot, and everything like that, but I'm just gonna here to show you kind of like how I run the game, and kind of what the game is all about if you don't really want to get invested in, like, watching all of the, you know, the little nitpicky things on, like, where to get the best loot, and all that other kind of crap. So, this is really if you just want to know, like, the basics of what the game is. So, I'm going to just hop into a game real quick, and uh, we'll show it off. Alright, so we spawn here in the uh, in the camp. This is this is where you start as soon as you finish like the tutorial little area. And, um, for those who don't know anything about the game, it is a, it's a dungeon crawler. So what you do is you go in here, and you have all these different locations. You got like Soggy Cave, Creeper Woods, Creepy Crypt, you got a little mystery level up here. Um, which I can show off if you really are curious. Because um, it's one of my favorite levels. Redstone Mines, Cactus Canyon, Pumpkin Pastures, Arch Haven. You know, Desert Temple. You know, all these other fun little things. And this is where you go and you fight the big boss man at the end. Um, but this is the tutorial right here, which is where the camp is. And then Creeper Woods is, like, kind of where you, we start off. So maybe I'll show off Creeper Woods, maybe? Yeah, I guess I'll start over here at Creeper Woods. Um, also, we can change the, uh, the difficulty. You know, there's default. And so if I click default... It tells you your recommended power level, like recommended power level of 27, 22, 16, 10, 4, 1. And so right now I have a power level of 106. So obviously I can't play any of these, so I have to play on the platforms. Otherwise it's just, it's just too easy to play. So power level 97, I have a power level 106. So we're going to hop into it right now. But yeah, depending how long this episode goes for, um... I might do another level today, um, and if you guys really like it, I'll probably do one episode on each of the levels. There's not that many, I think there's like 10, 14, 9, I really don't know. But uh, if you guys enjoy it, I'll make By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers, or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. Right, so that's kind of like the beginning little like lore bit of this level. But the thing is, is there is a, there's like an overall plot. Let's just kill this guy real quick. I could probably use my mushroom. Oh yeah, I should show you what I'm uh, what uh, gear I'm rocking real quick uh, just so you guys can kind of see how do I do it again it's up okay so I use the cursed axe it's got radiance and double prospector on it um, level 107 I have another one a uh, swirling critical hit and radiance it's they're pretty good I really enjoy them um, I might just use this one just to show off the power but I, kinda, I really like the nightmares bites I do have the fighters bindings with smiting critical hit and swirling they're only 104 and then renegade armor I like to rock the splendid robe because it can give me my cooldown and chilling with the protection on my artifacts artifacts being these things down here like the gong of weakening i've got the death cap mushroom and the boots of swiftness which help me go faster increase my attack speed of movement and then weakens the enemy and then there's all sorts of other things like these um, but i'm not going to get into those right now because i don't really rock them too often i've got this just in case i wanted to make a soul gathering build but that's not really where i'm at right now so I think I'll hop into the Poison Cloud ones, just to show it off, just for the funs of it. So, yeah. What I'm saying is, so watch. So I'm going to weaken them, and then I'm going to use my Death Cat Mushroom, and that's how fast I can go. And it just, they just absolutely wreck. And these aren't even my, my strongest weapons. I just think they're the funnest looking. But uh, yeah. I mean, this is pretty much what the game is. I pro I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend a whole long time fighting all of these guys. Like, even though I can, it just. Oh, I got some wolf armor. Oh yeah, and the fun thing is, is like once you get armor, you can like equip it. it makes you look different, or you can just salvage it. You get a couple emeralds for it. But yeah, this is like the first little area that you get to fight. Um after the tutorial. 
Um, they're mainly just zombies, some creepers, and maybe a few skeletons, a couple illagers, nothing crazy. Does this... Oh, they're not even... Oh my gosh, what am I doing? These things aren't even enchanted. I have 39 enchantment points, I haven't even enchanted. I was wondering why my radiance wasn't working. You know, I'm just going to switch over to this one. This is probably my current current strongest weapon. So we're going to rescue him. Perfect. He gets all happy and then he kind of just teleports out of here. Oh yeah, and my uh, my bow. It uh it's pretty good. It's one of my favorites. It's 107. It explodes on impacts, has a chance to chain reaction, and then I also have tempo theft which helps me gain their speed. And then a critical hit, infinity, and gravity on it. Excuse me. I'm trying to talk to people. Ugh, how rude. And then there's a... Oh, yeah, I could go this way. There's a, there's a whole bunch of different secrets. If I hold down, it says that there's six secrets. Five chests that I haven't opened. I found one secret. What was the secret that I found? I don't even know. There's like special runes. There's all there's secrets throughout like every map. There's tons of secrets and it changes every time. The maps are almost never exactly the same. So I'm gonna press this. This is like the first secret that you find. It's not really that much of a secret. Because it's pretty uh it's pretty obvious, but that's probably because it's level one. But you'll find things like this, um, throughout the whole thing where there'll be things just on the wall, and then you have to like fight a horde of like people. And you can get fun little chests. Oh, that's not too bad. A hawk, legendary hawk brand. Ah, uh, 104. Not the best. Uh, increases critical hand chance hit. So like, yeah. So it's kind of fun. I'm gonna rock my axe though. It's already enchanted. I don't really want to waste my points on something if it's uh, if it's not too important. I like having the exploding bow. Because if I get, like, surrounded by a whole bunch of people and I can't really get out, I can just, like, just kind of explode them a little bit. Where am I going? Gotta go this way. Yeah, the little mini-map really helps. Alright, let's gather up a bunch of them, and then we're gonna... Having Radiance on your weapon is, like, almost key. It's so important to have Radiance just because, like, if you start getting hit by mobs, you don't need to use your potion because you get healed up anyway. And then if you notice, this is kind of where we were. So we went left last time, and then we kind of just come out here. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on the mobs, but... Sometimes you just you have to fight them because it just looks it just it's so much fun to just wreck them Now I am in a position where you know, I'm practically unbeatable um, I can I can solo high end apocalyptic, you know what I mean? You know with the best of them and So I'm kind of waiting for the uh, the little DLC to come out. I guess it's coming out in July. I think So I'll probably get that I'm playing this on game pass. So it was free. Um, but I've been having just such a fun time with the game. Um, the problem is, is once you get to a point where I'm at, it's like, well, what else is there to do besides, you know, grind for, like, the specific item that you really want? Each item, or each level gives you different loot. Like, this place will give you swords and, I think, pickaxes, maybe. Maybe it doesn't give you pickaxes. Is that an enchanted cow? Haha. <laughs> Gotta love the enchanted cows. Look at this. Goodbye. Alright. And yeah, and there's different mobs in this game than there are in actual Minecraft. Because... Like... what I, I forget what this guy's called. I think this guy's called the Wraith. I think he's a Wraith. And they like spawn like blue fire on you. It's really obnoxious. And, and he's not in the regular Minecraft game. 
And then there's um, Geomancers, which aren't in this level. Uh, I gotta remember to use my uh, mushroom. You can pick up things on the ground, turn into shadow potions, all sorts of different fun things on the ground that you can find. Spiders, that's natural. Oh yeah, and then you get necromancers like this guy. And he like spawns zombies from the ground. And then you get like enchanted zombies, which you don't really get in regular mine. Oh, do they have like, why are they hitting me? Oh, they got thorns. I was like, they're hitting me for so much. That's because they hurt me when I hit them. All right, is that everything? No, that can't be everything. I gotta free the villagers still. Find the caravan. Yeah, we'll go in here, we'll get get a couple supplies, get some arrows. The bread fills you up to 100% over 30 seconds, which is pretty good. You're always wanting to get bread, even if you don't need it, because it takes 30 seconds. Buffs are on the left. Protection and fire trail. Ugh, I hate the fire. Oh, no, I'm stuck in web. Okay. That is... I, that's, I hate the spiders because of that very reason. You know what? Screw them. Whatever. Dun, dun, dun. We're just gonna kill... Oh, a piggy! Sometimes you find piggies with chests on their back. It's like a free load of chests because that chest doesn't go towards the uh, the total chests open at the bottom. They're like a bonus chest. Makes it real fun. Ooh, alright. Now we gotta free the villagers. That was probably a bad time to use weekend, but you know what? Screw it. We'll free him. You're welcome. We'll free this guy. Kill a couple of these Vindicators. The question is, what are they Vindicating? Alright. And yeah, then you get guys like this, which are the uh, Enchanters, or whatever they call them. And then they, like, super buff the other guys. Not that it makes a difference to me. But I would really like to see some of these guys um, in the actual Minecraft game. Because we got Vindicators already. You know, we've got villagers and sheep and whatever. But I'd like to see, like, the Enchanters. So I can fight some, like, a lot more hardcore mobs in the base game. Or the Geomancers, for sure. Maybe not the Wraiths. Those guys are a little scary. We've already got Phantoms in the real game. You can find Phantoms in this game, too. It's just that, uh... Um, you have to, you have to be playing uh, duos or squads or something. I think you can have up to, like... I don't know how many people you can have in your party. This is another one of the secrets. Um, I just came over here to show you real quick. Because there's a button here. Looks like I can go in it. I think it might be a little glitch. Maybe because I've already done it. But, like, before, you'd, like, push this button, if you could find it, and it would open it up. And then you can go inside. And there's one of these in not every map, but... Or, no, maybe it is every map. Every map, they have, like, the secret ruin area. And you can push it, and it would bring these towers up on the sides and stuff. It'd make this glow all purple, and then the rune would pop up. And when you get all the runes, and that's how you unlock the mystery level. Which is really fun. This one's always here. Sometimes they're, they don't spawn in the map. Like I said, the maps are always different. And so, like, the replay value of the game is pretty good, but it's not the best, mainly because... Ooh, a redstone golem. Ooh. See, he would be something cool to see in the actual game, too, because, like, they're super mean. I'll just take him out, though. Yeah, no big deal. But, like... Oh, I'm invisible. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yeah, see, he spawns, like, these, like, redstone things, and they blow up, and it's really cool. I used to hate the redstone golems, because, like, they were just so strong, and I felt like I was so weak. But now that I'm, like, extra strong, it's like... Well, now they're pathetic. Ooh. Oh, oh, what is hitting me? That guy just, like, spawned in a bunch of people or whatever, or something happened, and I think they had gravity on or something. Didn't help that I was in the tree. Ooh, what's in here? 
death. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely a... Uh, this is definitely a secret that's not in every game. That's pretty exciting. It's like I'm in Creepy Crypt. Yeah, what I was saying is, uh, if you're playing duos or something, or like with a with a buddy and your and your partner goes down, then night spawns and then you get like more mobs coming after you and the phantoms come, which is pretty fun. But it's the only way to be able to see the uh, the phantoms in the game. They're super strong. You can't take on phantoms. I don't even know if you can kill phantoms, to be honest. Oh my gosh. See, I'm just trying to show off the game a little bit. But there's so much here. Oh, don't do that. Rude. Extra rude. I'm dead. I'm actually going to die. <laughs> Alright, well that's what I get for trying to just speed through the, the whole thing. It's. I don't even need to be in this room. There's nothing in that room. There we go. Alright, so sometimes when you're going through, they can drop things like loot on the ground right here. It's not usually the best, but sometimes it can be good. And then you can find chests. These chests sucks, the wooden chests, they're almost not worth grabbing. They just give you a couple of emeralds. Let's just throw that TNT over there. I'm stuck in spider webs. This little secret area, not the best, but it could have been really good. And you don't know until you go through it, which is like the problem. You don't know if like going through here is gonna waste your time or not. If you're new to the game and you haven't really played it, then odds are it's always worth. That was like a regular skeleton and he just dropped me a 106 Hawk brand. Excuse me, I need to inspect my bounty. Oh, is my, what is? My, uh, my joystick was, was glitched. Hmm. All right. So we got prospector. That's pretty good. Here, let's look at the enchantments on it real quick. So we got smiting, shockwave, fire aspect, thundering, gravity, prospector, stunning, exploding, and swirling. All right. So not the best. Swirling is pretty good because it hits on the, uh, the hawk brand has a three hit combo and it always hits at the end of the combo. Same with the shockwave hits at the end of the combo. Um, if you have like a 5 or a 6 hit combo, like Shockwave and stuff like that, it's probably not worth it. But on the Hawk brand, it's probably pretty good. Better than Smiting, and definitely better than Fire Aspect. I'd probably either grab Thundering or Prospector on this guy, or possibly even Swirling, because I think Swirling is still going to be better. So I'm going to fully upgrade that. Let's do Thundering. We're going to do Thundering, and I'm going to do Shockwave. And we're going to show it off. And if I don't like it, I do get my enchantment points back. Which is uh, always noteworthy. So, like, watch. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, and then you can see the swirling and the shockwave kind of hit. And then when I start actually hitting people, you'll see the thundering. Yeah. I don't know if it's as good as my... Uh, my axe, because the axe is pretty good. Um, mainly because it can, like, it already swirls around it. Which means the enemies can't really get that close to you. Where this is, like, a very much more... It's got, like, double swirling on it, which is why the axe is really good. Um, but I'm going to leave the crypt right now, because it's just... I'm not having a lot of fun in this crypt right now, so I'm just going to head out. I don't even know if there's anything else left there for me. There we go. Level up. Because I need so many more levels. <laughs> what level am I? 161? That's pretty good. Eat, eat some pork. That sheep just dropped me pork, by the way. Give me some strength. Hit him for a couple thousand. No big deal. Where am I going? Am I going the right way? No. Why would I be going the right way? That would only make sense. I could follow the arrow on the screen. The little yellow thing kind of marks my path for me. But I wasn't really thinking about it. This is why I like to have the little little speed boost, because you can just kind of 
keep going, and then the tempo theft helps me steal their speed, so I can go extra fast. Super duper fast. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I forgot I didn't have my axe on me. That's fine. Oh wait, I also don't have a radiance on anymore either, so I gotta be careful about my health. But yeah, it really just suits your your play style and like what you want to do. I don't know if the axe is my favorite weapon. I really like the... Out of all the weapons I found, I've really liked the sickles. Um, I would consider them to be one of my more favorite weapons. But the thing is, is about the... Uh, here, I'll show off the, uh, the fighter's bindings. Is the fighter's bindings are the fastest weapon in the game. So, look at that. Oh yeah, and I've got what are, what are my enchantments on it? I got smiting, critical hit, and swirling, and this has like a yeah, it's a two-hit combo. So not only is it a two-hit combo, but look how fast it is. Oh, I don't have radiance on it. I don't have radiance on it. If you can get radiance on this thing, you're practically invincible, if not invincible. But yeah, here's the fighter's bindings. Look at that. And I don't even have the best weapon. It's not even the best. And that's the end of the level. Let's just make sure. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I don't really care all that much. Uh, let me equip my 107 back, though, just for funds. So then you can exit. You get the victory royale. Thank you. Appreciate it. Traveling back to the camp. Get our little wandering trader. Yeah, then it kind of shows you some of the damage dealt, healing done, projectiles hit, whatever, damage done, whatever. You open up your little thing, and I got a 105 death cat mushroom. You know, that's actually pretty good. I'm rocking a 105 right now. What's my other one? A 104? Yeah, because if I'm not using the sponge rope, sometimes I have to double mushroom so I can actually, like, always have a mushroom going on. So I'll get rid of this one. Move this one down. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, that, and that. That's a pretty good sword. Oh, this has double prospect. When did I get that? When did I get one with double prospect? Ah, oh, if it was only triple prospect, that would be super. Because then you can use, then you can get so many emeralds. But the thing is, is I already have a... Uh, I've got a double prospect with radiance. And that doesn't come with radiance. So it actually is useless to me because this is better. Not only is it a 107, but it also... Has the spin attack move. The defeated mobs will already explode. So it's already got like two enchantments on it. That's not encountered with the enchantments. So I can double prospect and I can heal. So. Sorry 105 Hawkbrand. 104 Hawkbrand my bad. You're going to go. And this was fun to show off. But I don't think I'm going to keep it. So goodbye. Um, I really like the Nightmares Bites. It's one of my favorite weapons. You can kind of go over here and you can like. Kind of see what it's got to offer. It's got like a five hit combo though. Here's the fire's bindings. That's absolutely... You can't even, like, see the damage. It shows you all the crits you're hitting and everything like that. Then here, I'll show you the, uh... My axe again, because you kind of saw that. But it, it's got, like, double swirling radiance and stuff, and so that's pretty good. Um, da 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 da, -da. Yeah, so here's the blacksmith. This is where you can spend your emeralds at. 106, it just gives you a random geese at your appropriate level. The highest level you can get is a 108. It's very rare. The game says 107 is the highest, but sometimes you can find a 108. I got a 108 once, and it was trash, so I got rid of it. So you just kind of do this until you get, like, a really what you want, because there's nothing else you can spend your emeralds on. I don't want any of these. But all armors do something different. Like, look at the health, damage reduction, mobs target more, but you get potion cooldown. So it really all depends on the enchantments that you can put on it. Uh, I don't want that, and I don't want that. And if you don't want to get weapons, you can always go over here, and you can get random artifacts for a lot more cash. Ooh, 107 Love Medallion. I have a 105 down here. So, I mean, I guess I'll get rid of it. But, yeah. That's pretty much all it is. You go to the Mission Select, and like I said, there's Creeper Woods. That's where we went. These, And you can see the different the gear, the gear drops. You got swords, spears, axes, bows, soul bows, hunter's armors, and soul robes. Um, creepy Crypt, very similar stuff. 
battle robe, swords. I use the legendary version of the battle robe. I have the splendid robe. Uh, sword, pickaxe, bows, soul bows. Very similar things. But like redstone mines, you can get pickaxes and you can get things like daggers and rapid crossbows. Over here, you can get things like the sickles and the glaives and the soul knives. So it really is just like grinding out the level that you really want in order to get the item you want. The soggy cave, it's the best place to get gauntlets, but man, is it boring. Uh, pumpkin pastures, probably one of my favorite areas is pumpkin pastures. I love pumpkin pastures a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much all the episode is. Obsidian Pinnacle, maybe... I will do a whole episode. Maybe I'll just do an episode on each one of the levels. Pro I probably won't go into the, like the secret levels like Creepy Crypt because they're just kind of similar to their... You find it. It's a secret that you can find inside the base game. So there's like Soggy Swamp and then you can find Soggy Cave within Soggy Swamp. Same with Arch Haven and Pumpkin Pastures and Under Halls in the High Block Halls. Um, and then when you get all the runes, you unlock this secret level. So I'll definitely do this one later. But I think I'll just go through all the main levels um as kind of like a series just kind of for the funs of it um maybe i'll start a new character who knows but uh yeah that's pretty much all i've got for you for this episode and i guess i will uh see y'all later have a good one